Hello, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Will to Live online video. This one is going to be on joining factions. It's going to be basically how you join a faction, what you're going to gain from joining a faction, what you're going to lose from joining a faction. There's not loads to it, but it is good information to know when you're a new player. So, the timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. So, let's get on with the video. Alright, so there's two factions to the game. There is the Confederation and Black Sunset. So I'm going to start off with how to unlock the opportunity to pick your faction. Pick the faction that you want to play. So to do that, you're going to have to do a lot of quests. And you're going to have to reach level 16. Now the good thing is, if you do all the quests as you're leveling up, one is the fastest way to level up. I've said that many a times um, from lower levels. And two, then when you hit level 16, you won't have to go back and do all these quests because you've already done them all. In total, there is 96, I do believe. So to unlock the opportunity, you need to finish Sticky Situation quest line and the Protective Shield. But you have to do all the other two, all the other quests before them to even unlock them. But they're the main two quests that you need to do. You'll unlock Sticky Situation at around level 8, level 10. I can't remember exactly. And you'll unlock Protective Shield at level 16 when you've done every quest prior to that as well all right so joining a faction now you've done all your quests you've done you know um sticky situation and you've done protective shield you're level 16 you've done it all how do you join a faction so to join black sunset super easy all you have to do is go down to the camp black sunset and talk to the main trader there and that's it just talk to him and tell him that you want to join black sunset to join the confederation when you hand in protective shield in solar city to a is it mikhail i think it is mikhail or mitch or something in this building here up the stairs after you've done all the quests and stuff you talk to him and that is how you join the confederation all right so you know how to unlock joining a faction you know how to join a faction now i want to give you some tips before joining a faction so some of the tips I want to give you, actually there's only, there's only really one, just do some research on your server, find out who's who, you know, who's where and stuff like that, try and make some friends <clears throat> and then you know, you're going to know which faction you want to join, to be fair, like that's it, obviously you don't want to be joining, like for me on my server EU1, 90% of Black Sunset are Russian, so I can't talk to them. Like because most of majority of them don't speak English properly. So obviously for me, the Confederation is the best, the best team for me. All right. So the pros and cons to joining a faction. There's not a lot to be fair. Obviously we'll start off with the cons. So if you join the Confederation, you will then no longer be able to go to the Black Sunset camp down in the desert because you will be shot on site because obviously that's the faction's main base and you're on the opposing faction other way around if you join black sunset yes you can still go to the black sunset camp in the desert but you can no longer go to the very starting town solar city you can't go to solar city anymore as soon as you get close you shot on sight i think it's within two squares or something like that so yeah that's the cons for joining factions obviously depending on what faction you join will depend where you can't go uh, the pros so the pros, joining a faction, there's a lot of pros. Joining a faction means you can now fight, the, play the end game basically. So the end game is all about capturing um, these points on the canyon, sorry, I couldn't think then. Yeah, on canyon, the map, you need to be level 20 to join the canyon. You need to be 20, level 20 to even enter that map. But as soon as you're in a faction, you can go to that map at level 20 and then you can fight for the two bases there's the north and the south the north can be attacked um attacked once every six hours and the south can be attacked once every eight hours by the opposing faction so when you own one of these bases if your faction owns one of these bases you can now buy the end game guns the msr 10 the l96 
the grenade launcher and all the other end game guns and you can also buy ammunition for them this is where you get these guns and it's where you get the ammunition for them you need to be in a faction you need to go to one of these bases so your team your faction needs to own a base you can also get faction armor it's the best armor in the game um, for any class faction armor is always going to be the best armor in the game but Right, this is a weird one. I don't know why this is part of the game, but for some stupid reason it is. Devs, like if devs ever see this, just why? Seriously, why? Please let me know. Um, but so you can buy faction armor, but to get faction armor, you need to be in a clan that has level two, like the clan is level two, and has unlocked the ability to buy the armor. And then not everyone can buy it; only the officers can buy it. So the best way to get it is either be in a clan and get put as an officer, you know, like, pretty please put me as an officer, or how most people get it is just ask in the chat, ask in the global chat when you're in Canyon, can someone buy, can any officer or something buy me faction armor? There's always someone about, there's always someone that'll get it here. So it's not hard to get, like, someone, if you're going to get it. Like, if you ask, you'll get it. But yeah, they're the pros and cons. Obviously, the cons, you can't go to each other's bases like main bases so i'll say oh whatever black sunset like camp depending on which faction you join pros you get to go to the uh, canyon and fight for the bases you know fight other players and stuff attacking and defending you get the end game weapons and you also get faction armor so that's the pros and cons to joining a faction all right so i think i'm pretty sure i've covered everything that you could possibly want to know but if you do have any other questions or anything make sure to hit me up in the comments below make sure to give this video a like so it gets more views gets to more people all that good stuff if you are into world to live online make sure to subscribe for future content on the game and i'll catch you in the next one guys thank you for watching i hope this helped peace out